welcome back to the Recon NG version 5 series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about interacting with the marketplace, installing modules, deleting modules, and how to use various uh, Recon modules. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about the database, uh, how to interact with uh, data, and then finally, we'll wind up with uh, API keys and, of course, generating reports. But again, in this video, we're going to be primarily focused with the marketplace. All right. So if we use the help command, uh, you can see that we have the marketplace option. Now, uh, pretty much uh, if you take a look at the modules option here, this uh, this allows you to interface with installed modules, as it uh, pretty much says. So if we say modules and uh, again, we can use the, the, the double tab auto completion, we can see that if we hit enter, uh, we can see that we are allowed to load, reload, and search for modules. Uh, however, we don't have any modules installed, right? So that's how you interact with them, similar to, to what you'd have with the Metasploit console. So in order to install modules, we simply type in marketplace, and uh, we then say install, uh, and then we need the name of the module. So this is the key here. So if we say marketplace search, and by the way, you can get uh, these uh, the various syntax that you can use here by uh, by using the double tab. So we have info, install, refresh, remove, and search. So if I wanted to say search and I wanted to list all uh, the the modules available to us, you can see right at the bottom it tells us that the D option within the table means uh, that this that a particular module has dependencies. Uh, the K option uh, this means that this module requires an API key. All right, and we can use the info option, which I'll show you how to use, uh, and that'll give you more information about what is required. So you can see we have the path uh, to this particular module, uh, the version, uh, the status not installed, and when it was last updated, all important information. And then we have the dependencies and whether or not it requires a key. So if it requires an API key, you can see it highlights it right over here with an asterisk. Right, so uh, you can see I've listed uh, all of these modules and we have interesting ones like import and map, import list, etc, etc. But I'm going to be following suit and showing you the best uh, modules that you can use for uh, for recon, right? So let's start off with who is a modules or the best who is modules. All right, so to do this, we say market a place uh, and we say search and we can simply say who is, right? We just hit who is and we have multiple modules, right? So we have a view DNS reverse who is, that's great as well. Uh, we have a who is minor, which I haven't been able to get working. However, we have uh, my favorite one, which is the uh, domains and contacts. Uh, and this is the who is POCS, right? So we highlight it and we copy the, uh, the relative path uh, with its name, of course. We then say marketplace. Uh, install and then we paste in the module name here and its relative path it's very important and we hit enter you can see it's going to say module installed recon domains uh, contacts who is POCS and reloading uh, the modules right so if we now click on modules uh, and uh, we can now use the double tab or the double uh, we can then say modules load right so and then we can uh, we can use the double uh, the double tab here for auto completion, and it already gives us uh, the ones that we currently uh, that that we currently have here uh, that we have uh, we have already installed. So you can see we have uh, the who is POCS. So in order to use a particular module, we say modules load, and uh, we then hit enter, right? And uh, once it's loaded, it's going to be added here. Uh, you know, uh, just after your workspace name. In our case, we're still using the default workspace. So now, uh, how do we display information regarding uh, this particular module? We do that by typing in info. All right, so this will tell us uh, who is POC Harvester. Uh, it gives you the various uh, information about the author and the version. So it uses the array in who is RWS to harvest POC data from who is a queries for the given domain, updates the contacts table, very important here with the results. Now you can see it already has a preset value. That's because I've used this module before, but I'll show you how to do this in a second. So uh, the way we use options here, or we set options, because you can see the options are available here. And the only option we can change this is the source, which uh, is the URL that we are targeting. It gives you the value, uh, the, whether it's required, which of course is yes, and a description of what you're entering. So this is the, uh, the source of the input, right? So. Uh, you can see it gives you uh, various options uh, in regards to the source. So we have the default, uh, uh, it gives select distinct domains from domains where the domain is not null, a string representing a single input, path to a file containing a list of inputs, 
or a database query. So you can use uh, the URL itself. Uh, you can uh, you can pass the string you know of the URL. You can uh, pass the path to a file containing a list of inputs. So extremely powerful. So what we can do is we now need to say options and uh, we can then say use the uh, double tab here and we can see we can list the options we can set or unset a particular option so if we say unset and then we say source the option name is source remember and we hit enter it's going to tell you the source is now set to none all right so let's clear this out and if we just type in info one more time you can see that the current value is now uh, removed so what we'll do is we will say options set and we want to set the source to uh, we'll just say bbc.com and this is the news website by the way or the news outlet uh, whatever you want to call it uh, you get a lot of a lot, lot of people in the comment section with uh, very very funny comments uh, to be quite honest but anyway uh, we hit enter and as you can see it sets that option for us and uh, what we can do now is we can run the module so running the module is very simple we just simply type run similar to version 4 Recon NG version 4, we just hit enter and it's going to start querying. Uh, so you can see we have a URL. We also have a contact here. And remember, the contacts are going to be stored in the contacts table. Uh, so we have um, a contact here. Uh, we have another contact here. So we have Chuck at kbbc.com, Craig.fancy, etc., etc., Justin Van Abrahams, and the URLs here. All right. Um, so that is how to use the who is poc uh the who is poc module here uh now let's talk about domains because that's quite interesting so once you're done using a module we can simply type in back right and that'll take us back to our workspace and if we say modules uh you can say modules and um, we can load reload or search for a particular module if we have uh quite a large list of them but we want to work with the marketplace so we're going to say marketplace search and we are looking for uh, the Bing domains, the Bing web domains module. So I'll just hit search. And you can see we have the Bing domain web. This is what we're looking for. Um, so again, if we just copy it, we can then say uh, marketplace install and we paste in the relative path and we hit enter. And that is going to install it for us. So we say modules load and we can use the double tab auto completion. And you can see it lists the various ones we have. So we have domains and hosts, right? And we are going to use the Bing domain web module and we hit enter and you can see it is loaded successfully. So if we type in info, it gives you information about the module. So it's the Bing host name enumerator. This harvests hosts from the Bing.com using the site search operator. So it's essentially like a Google Doc except for, uh, for Bing. So it, this will update the hosts table with the results. So it's going to uh, give us all the hosts. So again, similar to what we did, we're going to say options, options, un, unset, and we're going to say source, right? Because we want to unset it. And uh, let's give the info one more time so that we have a clean slate here. So we need, the only thing we need to specify is the source. And again, you can specify the path to a file containing various uh, URLs if you want. So you can really see the versatility of this tool. So this will give us uh, all the, uh, the hosts um, uh, from bing.com. And it's extremely powerful. And I'll show you this right now. So uh, this will also give us uh, various subdomains, uh, although I'll show you how to brute force that in a second. So all we do is we say options um, set source and we're going to say bbc.com and we hit enter and we can then run the module here so you can see it gives us uh the various uh the various subdomains uh you know related to bbc the, the domain bbc.com so for example uh we have account.bbc.com pages.email.bbc.com so it can really reveal extremely uh, useful subdomains uh, if you are you know if you're performing recon and uh, bug bounty or or any of that stuff so you can also see it uh, then uh, it then sleeps to avoid a lockout because again it's querying this uh it's querying this with a lot of requests so that's also something excellent with this module uh, it then also gives you the various URLs so you can run the search yourself, uh, which is extremely good. And again, it adds all of the results to the hosts. Uh, we'll be taking a look at that uh, in the next video and be working with databases.
All right, so that is how to uh, enumerate, uh, you know, host using search engines. In this case, uh, we're using BIM, uh, Bing. Sorry, it's one of the best or uh, the best modules here. So if we go back, we can also search for a Google one. So we can say search. Uh, sorry, marketplace. I forgot. Uh, I wasn't using Recon NG version four. So mar marketplace search. Uh, and we're looking for Google. So we can say Google. You can see Google site web recon domains holds through um, the Google site web. We can copy this and uh, marketplace install. And we simply paste in the relative path here. And we have it now. So modules load. And we can use the, uh, the double tab here. We have domains hosts. And we're looking for Google site web. And we hit enter. And we, type, uh, we check the uh, various info we have. So again, this is another way of automating Google Docs. Uh, and we can just set the source here. So we're going to say options, set um, source, and we're going to say bbc.com. And we're going to hit enter. Uh, you can see it also updates the host table. That's something to keep in mind, especially if you're, if you're looking to export this data into a report or work with it in a meaningful manner. All right, so we can then just hit run. All right, so it's going to search again. It gives us what we were pretty much expecting, similar to what we had with Bing. Uh, we have account mmobile.bbc.com. Uh, we have the site here, so it's jumping to the result. No new subdomains found. It's still querying, and uh, I think we found more with the Bing, uh, the Bing uh, module. But there we are. We can see that uh, it still uh, it still continues here, uh, and I think this is. Probably it's it's going through the various sites, so no new subdomains on the current page, um, and yeah. So uh, let me just terminate this. So you can see six total and two new hosts found, which is great. So we have found at least two new more hosts, which we'll be taking a look at. Um, now that we've taken a look at uh, you know some subdomain enumeration using search engine docs, both for Bing and Google, let's talk about uh, let's talk about brute forcing. Uh, brute forcing subdomains uh, working with the DNS now. So let's go back and again, we're going to say uh, marketplace search uh, and we're looking for, we can just say domain and we hit enter. Uh, so we have quite a few options here. Um, what we're looking for is uh, the brute uh, hosts. This is this is the module, uh, which by the way, I'd used in version four as well. And uh, we can just copy that and um, we will say uh, sorry, we don't want to say use, we want to say modules, um, load, specify the relative, uh, sorry, we want to install it. My apologies, guys. Uh, so we're going to say marketplace install, and we want to install this module. And then we'll say modules, uh, load, and we're looking for recon, domains, uh, hosts, and brute, uh, the brute, uh, we're looking for the brute host here. Hit enter. Check out the options. You can see that this brute force, uh, this brute forces host names using DNS, and it'll also update the host table with the results. So again, I can run this on my own website, which I did, and it also gives you the ability to specify a word list. Uh, by default, it uses a pretty good one that comes pre uh, pre installed or pre packaged with Recon NG, and that is the uh, the Recon NG hostnames.txt word list. Uh, by the way, it gives you the uh, the the actual relative path to this particular word list if you are interested. And we have the other options that we can specify here as well. All right, so uh, what we can do is uh, we can run this on BBC or well, why not run it on hsploit.com? I know I don't have any other subdomains apart from a, a few related to DNS, uh, a few related to C names and stuff like that. Um, so what I can do is just hit run because we don't want to set anything. So it's going to go, th it's going to start brute forcing it using the all the entries in, in the word list file. And as you can see, it's going through it alphabetically. So the larger the word list, uh, the longer it's going to take. In my case, uh, you can see that it will highlight uh, this asterisk here within the, uh, the brackets uh, in green when it's found uh, an actual record. So we'll just wait for it to actually end at a Z here. So let, let's just let this run one more time. Uh, there, there are a few more subdomains than I thought uh, I had. But anyway, that's part of the process here. Um, so let's see. So we have 14 total, two new hosts found, uh, which is excellent. So uh, you can see we have uh, the A records here uh, for hsploit.com. Uh, and of course, that is pointing towards my, uh, it's pointing towards Cloudflare. Um, we have SMTP, so that's mail. Um, so we have smtp.hsploit.com, pop3, standard stuff there. 
uh, we have mail.hexploit.com, which is an A record. Uh, so you can see the, the really interesting information you can dig up with a module like the Brute Hosts module. So let's take a look at some of the ones here. We have FTP. Mm, interesting, interesting. But uh, nothing custom here that I'm working on so far. So, you know, bad luck. Uh, otherwise, I would have tried to attack it myself. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's how to use the Brute Hosts module. And again, you can change the hosts uh, to whatever you want. Um, and let's talk about now uh, interesting files, finding interesting files in regards to web servers or websites um, or uh, ra rather just web applications to put it short. And then we'll talk about Shodan and built with because uh, I think I'm, I'm going to actually cover that in the next video. For now, let's just talk about interesting files. So if we go back um, and again, we say marketplace uh, search and we'll say interesting and we hit enter. You can see we have the discovery. This is now a discovery module. This is information disclosure and interesting files. Extremely powerful module. All right. So we'll say uh, market. Sorry, that is marketplace install. We're going to paste that in here. All right. And uh, modules uh, load and we're going to say discovery and we hit enter. Check the info regarding this module. You can see this interesting file finder checks hosts for interesting files in predictable locations. Uh, so this is interesting. All right. So this is where stuff gets uh, really, really interesting. So first of all, in regards to the options, you can download the discovered files so you can analyze them later. Awesome feature. Secondly, you can specify the port. Another awesome feature, the protocol you're dealing with. And so you can also change this to FTP, by the way, but that's uh, that's uh, we can make another video regarding that. Uh, we then have the source, which is the URL and the uh, the, the various and standard source options regarding uh, the uh, the file formats uh, and the format you can specify for the source option. It then gives you comments. So these are the various files that, you know, one would expect or the files that are extremely interesting. So, you know, robots.txt, the various consoles here, a web console, an admin console, the sitemaps. So just general important files that you might you might want to look for. And this you can see it really automates the process. So again, uh, for uh, for BBC, I know it is uh, an HTTPS website. So that's the request protocol that I've specified. So again, you can simply just set it by saying options set uh, and we can then say, oh, let me just unset one and show you this so that I can show you it's really very simple. And we say, uh, for example, port, right? And we hit enter and that's going to uh, unset uh, the port here. So we will say uh, options. If we just say info first, you can see it unsets the option. So we say uh, options um, set, we say port here and we say 443 hit enter. And we can now run this. So I'm going to hit run and uh, it's going to, you can see immediately we have the robots.txt file, the sitemap, uh, sitemap xml.gz, uh, which is 404. So that is not found. A cross domain uh, we have, which is found. Uh, you can see when it's highlighted green, that means it's found a result here. Uh, and when it's highlighted blue, it's uh, not really found. So it's essentially brute forcing for files, interesting files that uh, that are extremely uh, useful uh, when when analyzing your target. So only three interesting files were found. Uh, if we take a look at the info here, and you can see that um, the files have been downloaded to the Recon NG uh, workspaces. Uh, so your current workspace, uh, and in our case, it's the default workspace. So you can analyze the files there. By the way, you can check this out yourself. Um, so for example, if we say, let me just open up a new terminal here. Um, we have the recon ng uh, directory here. So we can say cd recon ng, hit enter. We can take a look at the, so your modules are stored here, by the way, in case you're wondering. So we have discovery and recon modules. Uh, we're looking for the workspaces and you can see we have the default workspace. So if we navigate into this, you can see we have the, um, we have the robots.txt and the sitemap and the cross domain XML file right over here for the, um, for the host bbc.com. Okay, so that's uh, where you can find these files. And uh, the various options uh, you can specify are also specified here. Um, so again, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. These are all the interesting modules that I find extremely useful. Now I know I haven't covered Shodan and built with because those are modules that require API. Uh, integration and I'm going to be covering that in the next video because it's very important. So I'll see you in the next video.